can you tell me or us um, what has been your intention behind this um, reboot of the series? Because it's just a total reimagination, as you told it. Um, our goal, first and foremost, is to make Tomb Raider relevant again. Uh, Tomb Raider has been around for 15 years, and has a lot of fans, has a lot of people who love the formula, but it had reached a point in time where everything about it, kind of the mechanics, uh, felt just a little bit dated compared to what you would play in most AAA titles. So our decision to go back and tell an origin story was one about making the character feel relevant, but also giving us an opportunity to make the game and gameplay feel relevant again. Um, and in doing that, we've made sure that we haven't forgotten who, what Tomb Raider is and, and, and who Lara Croft is. Um, by going back to the very beginning, it allows us to be able to bring a very unique facet of personality and understanding of the character and the world that she's in. And uh, also not forgetting that we have formulas that make Tomb Raider special. It used to be puzzle solving, exploration, combat. Now we've enhanced those so that now exploration is dynamic traversal and you can go around and, 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 and make your own decision about how you explore and move around spaces. And it's the same with smart resource for Lara and puzzle solving. Um, so it's very important to us that in reimagining it, one of the most important things is not forgetting that Lara Croft is Lara Croft and it's all about tomb raiding, but that also we make it relevant for today's audience. Do you think that uh, gamers maybe have become a little bit too grown up for the, for the old Lara Croft? No, I think, you know, Tomb Raider, as I said, it's been around for such a long time and it was a T-rated game, you know, so even, even if we work the math from Legend, Anniversary and Underworld, most people who played it, if they were 13, they're pretty much 17 now by the time this game comes out. So they've kind of grown up. There's also a lot of people who grew up with Tomb Raider from Tomb Raider 1. Um, and love the franchise and, and, and I think for us going back and reimagining is important because we want the players of today who may never have played a Tomb Raider game but understand or know the franchise to feel like they can start from the beginning and then for Tomb Raider fans to really see a side to our character which they've never seen before. Okay. Uh, so that's good that you say that because my next question would have been if you are afraid of losing long-time fans with the new direction the series has taken now. Yeah, I think as you can see from today, you know, part of our goal is to make sure that we get out and we bring the fans as close to the game as possible. When we announced the reimagining, uh, you know, 18 months ago, we brought as many fans as close as possible to make sure that they understood what we were doing and that we weren't forgetting what Tomb Raider was about and who she was. So I think they respected that. I think a lot of them have really felt like this is bringing in new facets to the franchise and something that's very exciting. But at the same time, they realized that it's something that needed to happen. Um, you know, Tomb Raider has its hardcore fans from, from back in the day, Tomb Raider 1. And, you know, some of them may or may not be happy and they pretty much voice it quite a lot, whether it's through my Twitter account or through forums. But at the end of the day, they understand that we have to make these changes. Uh, we need to make the game, you know, relevant. I think the community have been huge ambassadors for what we're doing. Um, you know, E3 has just gone by and we brought 20 plus community members out to E3, flew them in, let them go around the show, see some of the competition in the games, come and play Tomb Raider, hang out with us, do some interviews. And they're the ones who've gone back and really kind of understood uh, what we want to try and do with this vision for the new Tomb Raider. So I believe the fans are, uh, are quite excited to see Lara go in this new direction. Yeah, well, I think that's a cool way to interact with the community, so not yeah. bad. Uh, another question um, I have is regarding your um, presentation at E3 2011, because there was a huge, huge uh, hype after that. Um, how do you handle those huge expectations? Um, well, the first thing we did was went quiet. We realized that um, you know, we had announced the game in spectacular fashion with uh, one of the biggest magazines in the world and then we brought all the territories in and we presented it you know, one to one. I then got on the road and even came here to Hamburg, went off to Paris, went off to London, did the, the road trip and made sure that enough people saw the vision that we had. And then we went into E3 and it was hugely successful for us. Really it was the icing on the cake. And when we finished E3 we realized that there was a lot of expectation, right? There's a lot of weight on our shoulders to deliver. Um, and we really wanted to go quiet and come back now with something that's very unique um, and different and something which people may or may not have expected from the franchise. And, and I think what you see in the demo is bringing an emotion, a raw emotion, which we've never experienced in a Tomb Raider before. And that takes time to cultivate. That doesn't happen overnight. So for us, we knew when we finished E3 that, you know, for sure we were going in the right direction. But we also needed to go away and make sure that we could deliver on those promises. So. We're excited. There's, there is a lot of uh, weight in our shoulders of expectation of success, but uh, hopefully you'll see from the demo and from the direction we're going in, we're, we're trying to make sure we live up to the promise and deliver on that.
Okay, looking forward. Um, what do you think are the biggest differences between the between the old and the new Lara Croft? Um, I think one of our, our our core differences is that we're going to show you a side, uh, a personality and a side to Lara which you haven't really seen before. I think as you get far enough into the game, you'll start to realize this is still Lara Croft. Uh, we're just presenting her in a very fresh and new approach. We're giving her a facet of a character which um, has rarely ever been seen. Lara had become a caricature of herself over time. And really for us, we wanted to sort of break that mold but not forget who she is. So I think it's, uh, it's, it's important that we, we stay true to the franchise and don't sort of break from the mold or break from the formula too much. But I think there's, uh, there's certainly, for, for people who know old Lara, they'll still play this game and feel like, okay, she's still, you know, she's still smart, she's still ambitious, she's still got all the, sort of the, the attributes that we need in the character. But at this early stage of what we're presenting, you're just seeing a very fresh side to her that will eventually... When, when she reaches the point where she's the action adventure hero, you'll just feel for her a lot more. You'll understand the situation she's in, the motivation of the things she's going through. Is she still the same person than before? Um, no, I think naturally you have to make some changes. Uh, you know, it's a bit like Daniel Craig and James Bond. You know, he's not Roger Moore and he's certainly not Rod, uh, Timothy Dalton. Um, he's a very unique character and I think with Lara, we have to make sure that we make her stand out. She has some unique facets to her that will make her character feel relevant to today um, and certainly if you were to take the older Lara Croft and bring her into today's audience she wouldn't stand the test of time people would see through it straight away you know back in the day she was a little bit arrogant and sarcastic and that worked to a point now we want the character to feel that she's relevant to everything that you see the culture um, you know the characters the people that you meet the TV shows and the movies that you watch Lara has to fit inside of that world now so she will have some uh, unique facets to her compared to where she was in the past. One question that's uh, around a long time regarding your new Tomb Raider is um, at first there is a, the, the survival aspect of the game, then you have third person shooter part in it. How does it fit in there and how does the, the open world aspect um, get in the, the whole mix? So I think there's, there's, a, there's a couple of different points to that which I want to make sure I answer. One, um, the game it won't be open world in the sense where you can walk from one side of the island to the other. We've built these large hub systems to make sure that it feels open enough that you can explore, but that you know we're not that full open world experience as an Assassin's Creed an example is. Um, in terms of balancing combat and, and, and you know going from a third person shooter, the idea is to make sure that the story feels relevant and she feels motivated to have to do things. So at the beginning we show you a very story driven, cinematic heavy, uh, very immersive quick time events so that the player is sucked into that world and then when you go through the fray of your first kill Samantha being kidnapped and seeing Steph killed and the other survivor somewhere on the island you're having to fight to survive so you feel motivated to have to pick up the bow and arrow or the gun and do what you have to do um, we don't ever want the player to go into a position where they feel like they're just basically running and gunning you know, and mowing down people. You always feel like you're being a little bit more tactical, you're kind of looking at the situation with a little bit more depth than just running in and picking up your pistols and firing away. So there is a, a very fine line between making sure the balance feels right for the story, but it also feels like a fun game. You, you don't want it to be that story heavy that you feel like, oh, it was great, I, I now know what she's doing, but I didn't really get to play a game here. So for us, there is a balance between making sure that you feel like there's a, there's a real action adventure game there at its heart. Cool, looking good. So, thank you very much for your time. No thank you very much. I hate tombs.